quite powerful now. The Church of Moth. Moth Mine's Man. a moth. Moth Man. Polka's now a moth. Um, Verm's next. Uh, I just gotta convince him a bit more. Just send him a bunch of pictures of Moth Man. I already have. It'll convince him. Trust me. I've told him. It's like, it's happening, man. You can't stop me. <laughs> Soon all of NorCal will be under Moth's control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but instead of the Moth Army, let's talk about uh, game one here on PS2 and Strike pulling out the Peach instead of ZSS. Yeah, uh, I was just talking to Alma about that. I've been saying, like, you know, Strike has been playing Peach a lot, and I asked him, you know, hey, did he drop ZSS? He said, nah, he's just a lot more fun with Peach, which, you know, makes sense. As, as a good homie of mine and have probably one of my best homies in this entire community, um, I've been very outspoken to him uh, in DMs and calls. Keep the peach. The peach needs to stay. It fits you a lot better. <laughs> and I think that just peach is a lot more consistent than ZSS in a lot of ways. You think so? Yeah. ZSS, even though ZSS is amazing and beats a lot of the characters that you know are super cringe in this game, ZSS still has a lot of things where it's quite annoying to deal with on an active basis. Hitbox is not working. Sometimes feeling like killing is impossible. And just you know the effort. Sometimes right. it feels like even in some of her winning matchups. And you know Strike felt like. Okay, instead of putting in all this effort um, in some of the matchups, I feel more comfortable going Peach and just playing a more focused, neutral game instead of focusing on camping. Yeah. Um, and I've seen him even, you know, like for instance, right here, I imagine ZSS does pretty decent against Sephiroth, and he's sacrificing that to go Peach, a matchup that I don't imagine is too good for um, Peach. For Peach, yeah, I was going to say, I think like Zero Suit would definitely be able to suffocate Sephiroth a lot more with just so much pressure. Really, um, I, I've described ZSS in a lot of ways, but one of the biggest themes about ZSS in general is that ZSS is really good at stomping characters who aren't there yet in the meta, right? They're not the, the Z tiers. They're not the characters that are top 20 potential. ZSS will just destroy them, you know? Your Mega Mans, um, stuff along that line. Right. Man, I'd like to see a lot more Mega Mans, dude. Mega Mans hype. <laughs> that is a selective. That is a very acquired taste, as some people might say. Um, I definitely fall under the category of like I'm, I'm mad about him. I think I think Smash Four really put me onto Mega Man. Foot, footstool combos in Smash Four with Mega Man were really cool looking to me. Wow, Cashew going deep with the counter again. Finding that pressure and yeah. ooh, that back back air not gonna kill. And this is kind of where yeah, that's wow, living okay. Oh, a miss by Cashew. I think that's going to cost him quite a bit. That should have been a pretty easy kill, in my opinion. Um, when Peach doesn't have any options like that, and especially with Sephiroth's huge sword and range, I think maybe he just might have misspaced it just a little bit, but that's definitely going to cost him. From strike there, racking up already 63%. Yeah, you, yeah, you can see he went from 11% to like 63. He's eating way more than he should have, and in fact, that should have just been a stop for him, but... Jeff not reacting to that uh, counter and instead throwing the turn up. A little, a little surprised there. Yeah, something about Sephiroth's counter that I don't think too many people are, like, doing. You can grab him before, like, it really comes out. Um, usually if you're in that close of a quarters and you're not throwing anything, just grab him. It, it will work, I promise you. Um, I feel like with that, though, it's more of a... It's not necessarily that people aren't doing it, but there's, like, that safety level. I think, right. Yeah. Where you know, even I know oh. that, and other people do as well. It's like, okay, well, if I have already a great burst range, right? If he misses the counter, then I can still just like dash That's attack true. or like down tilt him, like your sorty, right? So why take the risk? That's true. When you can just get some clean damage. But speaking of clean, that weak hit of up smash actually gonna take it over strike on that yeah. stock. Yeah, a little surprising, especially with no rage on Sephiroth. But again, you'll see that they're tight on stock when really it shouldn't be this way. Mm -hmm. I think just the miss from Cashew on that stock too, just that, really that, ooh, biting no him. No back air, great DI from Cashew mixing up uh, strike a little bit. Um, Cashew opting for a lot of down Bs now. I'm, I'm gonna have to see if Strike will just kind of notice that and just maybe play around it a little more because I think that's maybe the fifth counter of the game I now. I think he's already noticed it, if I'm being honest. Strike has always been a very phenomenal player at like tr like noticing your uh, defensive habits. Right. Um, being able to really eat you alive for getting a bit too trigger happy on some more of your reliable ones. And right now, I this is a thing that I see Cashew do a lot, where it's like, when he's ahead, he gets... Oh, oh that's it. GG. Good game. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch for that. That's um really unfortunate to see, but it's also like, that's the Sephiroth I am on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like... Hmm? What got kicked?
be right back. Mm -hmm. Like, if there's anything I'm expecting from a Sephiroth, it's run up down smash. Yeah, for sure. Like, no questions asked. Yeah. I, uh... It's just one of those things where it's like... If you see it coming, especially if you're at a low percent like Strike was, like 30%, just take the hit, right? Don't even try to block it. Just take the hit at that point. Because if he breaks your shield, it's instant game over at that point. Yep, it's basic risk reward management. I, I feel like from Strike, it was just more of a, oh, he really just does yeah. did that. Unexpected. And since this is a game, that was a game one thing, I don't think we'll be seeing it happen again. Yeah, that's kind of one of those ace in the hole kind of things. You pull it out once in the match, and then He's that's staying it. Peach. Sticking to Peach. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate the commitment, but I also, I've had this discussion with him as well. It's like, even, even if you win, like, if, you're, if your other character wins the matchup, just go in. Like, why even bother? Mm -hmm. But if he wants to figure out some of the kinks of his uh, of his Peach, then I can definitely respect it. I think it's one of those things where it's like, okay, do you keep playing to just learn more, play the character more, or do you go for the win, right? So I, I kind of appreciate the fact that he wants to continue playing Peach to just kind of, you know, keep getting the more experience and things like that. There's also that level where he does probably believe a little bit that, you know, he can possibly better play or catch you. Right, yeah. So it's like, you know, game one, he's probably... Maybe it's a fluke to him. He wants to try it out still. Yeah, I think the shield break was really unfortunate because if that didn't happen, I think that easily would have been Strike's game, mm -hmm. personally. But... And Wing coming out, obviously. Ooh. Ooh. That's another thing that I always need to mention to people is it's like he does have to space for that shield break. It isn't free. Yeah. It's... you. There's just a range where in your heart you should be like, okay, he's, he's just going to down smash me. You know what I've noticed about Strike's Peach? What? Um... He likes to dash attack a lot. Yeah, because Peach dash attack is insane. Yeah, I think it's really good. It's just really interesting because, you know, Jim Rude's Peach is, I feel, way more different. And it's just funny to see, like... Peach falls under the same category of um, characters like... Steve. Uh, Steve, Snake, Peach. Um, there's one more. There's one more who is who can be very playstyle oriented. I feel like Cloud is kind of like that. Mm, not so much. There's a right way to play Cloud. But there is um, there's one other character I'm forgetting about that's a uh, pretty... Uh, you can make pretty uh, personal as well. Right. Um, but all those characters can have a little bit of a, like, you know, what do you want to do with this character? Yeah. Right? But I do will say that Peach Dash Attack is definitely something you don't want to sleep on. It gives a character with overall, like, not predictable movement. Obviously, Peach is, like, really good at moving around the stage, has a lot of mobility stats, but when it comes to the speed category, it gives her that extra Ooh. boost. And speaking of an extra boost, taking another stock is going to... That's definitely a great put Strike smash. in a situation where he needs to just sit back and relax a little. Yeah, I think Strike definitely found his kind of footing here, you can see by being three stocks to one here. Mm -hmm. um, don't know if maybe Cashew might be feeling a little jittery after that first game, because uh, this is quite a commanding and dominating match here. But, uh, you know, it's never over until it's over. Uh, especially against uh, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. With, wing, with Wing especially, right? This early, right? <laughs> I, wing, wing, it definitely isn't the best comeback mechanic in the game. It's not. not but even. it still is something that you need to be like, okay, yeah, you have wing, you're gonna go for greedy things. It's just one of those things where, where like, wing is just good, right? Extra jump, super armor on all your smashes. Um, it's oh. just, you know, I, it's like the, it's like a nice little bonus. Um, though, compared to the nice little bonus that Joker and Terry get, yeah, I was I'd about rather to say, have those. I was about to say Terry. Especially go. And Terry is like. In my opinion, the best comeback mechanic in the game. But. It's just because it synergizes with his kit so well. Yeah. Um, obviously, Arsene gives Joker a lot of the killing potential that he needs. Yeah. But I do feel like, um, to a um, fault to some Joker players, ooh, nice turn up, you know, ooh. they often focus a bit too much on that power instead of synergizing it well with his kit. Yeah. With Terry players, since everything just goes into go, yeah. they naturally <laughs> synergize well with being able to figure out how to get their confirms. Yeah. And that up smash goes Good. take up it. Up smash. No more wing, though. Yeah, and this is looking bleak. I think this is even kill percent. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the point where also great awareness from Strike knowing that uh, he was running out of Legends invincibility, yeah. so he's going to be able to find that down smash. And that's the thing that Cashew likes to do, too. Um, yeah. Cashew really likes to hang on ledge a lot. Like, that's one of his favorite things to do. So when you, you know, play this person enough, you kind of catch on to those things, and you just, you know, you rightly punish it. Mm -hmm. uh, so good on Strike. Um, it was pretty bleak, even to begin with. Like, that was probably back throw kill range, I would say, especially on Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 180%? I just, uh, I no rage. Know. There's a part of me that wants to doubt it, but when you're as light as Sephiroth, yeah. which, oh god, that's still so weird to say. Uh, <laughs> good lord. Sephiroth, light. Lighter than Isabel. Canonically, like, I think, like, 10 feet or something. <laughs> but he's insane. He's, like, 8 feet at least. Yeah, you know, Fox, the guy that looks like he's like four foot feet tall. Yeah. Which, that's why in Melee he was a, actually kind of a midway. It's because they were like, oh, he's got the metal legs. Let's make him heavier. Metal feet. All right. Battlefield? Yeah. Uh, Whose counterpick is this? Cashews? This is Cashews. I don't like it. Interesting uh, choice. The only reason I don't is that Peach is definitely one of those characters that also likes Battlefield a lot. Yeah, and Peach thrives on platforms. I'm of the third belief that, you know, why give it to them? Yeah. Go to something that truly gives you the advantage or you believe is 100% neutral for both parties. I, I agree. I think a lot of people like to go to their stages that like, oh, I'm, I win on this stage. It's like, well, okay, if your opponent also wins on this stage... Are or you really winning, right? A like, lot of people, even with their winning stages, are like, oh, I just win on this stage, but they never ask themselves, why do I, does my character win on this stage? It, to me, it's like taking Roy to town and city, right? It's like, why would you ever... I would take Roy to town just to flex on how good I am in that <laughs> matchup. Just to flex. Okay, that, that's a good answer. But, but uh, not in tournament. <laughs> but realistically, Maybe in a money match. Realistically speaking, I feel like that's kind of the mentality that I have Ooh. when picking stages. Great pressure. Ooh, I, I just wanted air. to take that second. That was two back airs and then an up air. All right, we got confirmation that Sephiroth is 6-1. I, I don't know. I feel like that. I've heard somewhere else that he's taller. He's definitely tall. Wow. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Strike missed like two punish okay, opportunities. If, 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 if Mewtwo was actually heavy though, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> One of the best characters of the game. Oh. Getting right, caught by the that. neutral B. Oh, uh, you can see in the player cam, he was super frustrated by that. Uh, Cashew proving us wrong here. The counterpick working really well in his favor, especially mm -hmm. on that second stock. He did like a clean 70% off nothing. Yeah, finds Going? that counter again. More counters again. Ooh, going up. Missing another punish. That's like We've been seeing punish. a lot of that this game, and honestly, it's really sad to see from Strike. Yeah, especially, I don't know if you were watching for the first lock, but it was like a kill opportunity that he completely whiffed. And it's just like, mm. yeah, Gotta watch for that. I hate Sephiroth's neutral B. I always forget whether the big one's slow or the small one's slow, and I just... Uh, That's a bear. Down, no, up there. Yeah, I think Cashew was DIing inward for that. Uh, there we go. No shield, though. Yeah. This is bad. That, that's yeah, going to take it. That's a good, yeah. That's all, That's pretty much always the position Sephiroth wants to be in when he's guarding like that. Good job on Cashew taking that win over Strike. Good win. 2-1. Right now? Yes. Okay. And goodbye. Goodbye. Stream. Take your soda. Take a drink. Take a little soda. soda pop. I love soda. <laughs>